my man. I said, two girls and boys, right? Hey, listen, what the Bible said. You understand? Because you are the father figure. Do you have kids, sir? Mm -hmm. You have kids? I'm going kids. Two. Two? I right, watch this. Give me Sora 30. We're going to show you how to deal with kids because we have kids, but just because we don't conform as yet, you understand? The mindset what we have by growing our kids, we feel like that's the right way. You understand? Watch this. Read it for me. Read from verse 1. Ecclesiasticus chapter 30 verse 1 He that loveth his son Causes him oft To feel the rod So I'm saying so the Bible said If you love your son too much You understand You're not going to spank him nope. You understand But watch this That's what the Bible said huh? You're going to spear the rod But watch this Come on read That he may have joy Of him in the end The Bible said You understand why You understand the most I tell you to use a rod on the kid you understand? Because there's something in that rod. You understand? And the most I'm going to tell you where you're supposed to eat that child. You understand? Because sometimes we as parents, when we get mad, we just started us eat from the head. From the head, just eat the head and places. The Bible going to tell us where we're supposed to spank that kid. Watch this. Come on. He that chasteneth his son shall have joy in him and shall rejoice of him among his acquaintances. So the Bible says when you correct the kid, chasten means correct the kid, you're going to have joy in the hand. Because in the hood right here, there's a lot of stuff going on. We see all, all things here. The, uh, the shots because it's time we came here. You see know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's right here. Keep reading. Come on. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So the Bible said when a teacher's son, there is no cop going to come and in your wood for, what is your name? Rio. Rio. You understand? He ain't gonna come for you. He ain't gonna come for you because what you started to apply the laws. You understand? Same thing to your son, but watch this. Come on. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. When you sit with your friends, you're gonna say, hey, that's my boy. See what I'm saying? Because, come, I'm saying, because we as, as the Israelites, we have totally different nature from all the, the other nation. We do. You understand? In football, we all run our race. In Soccer, we outrun all race. In what what do you call it? In basketball, baseball, we outrun all race. You understand? So you don't know what your son gonna grow to become. You understand? But watch this, come on. Though his father died, yet he is as though he were not dead. Anything can happen to you. You understand? Anything can happen to you. A stray bullet can fly from somewhere, hit you. You can cross in the road, boom in an accident. Same thing. Might be just mommy alone gonna take play. But if you follow what we right here and start to put your feet down in your house, watch this. The Bible said, come on. For he hath left one behind that one behind him that is like himself. Your son gonna be just like you. You understand? So when they see your son, they're not gonna say Rio. They're gonna call you on him. That's what's your name? Wow. That's raw son. That's right. raw son right there. That's, That's what I'm right. saying. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Come on. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. He said, while you live, while you live, you're going to rejoice in the son because what? We know time's hard. You understand? We know what brothers do sometimes to make twins meet. But by sending your son to school and teaching them this book, they're going to have manners to you, manners to mommy. You understand? Manners to elders in the street. They're going to grow good. Right. You understand? They're going to go to college. They ain't going to go to... You send them to school and what? They end up in the projects. You understand? Might be gang banging. Come home like everything is good. You feel like they've been to school all day. Learn something. Nah! You understand? They're going to do what daddy said because they see what daddy been going on with. You understand? Daddy get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, go to 9 to 5, make, make sure that you have a nice jar on the feet. You understand? Just like how you have a nice jar on the feet. Just like how you dress your daughter. You understand? Your son, because I see you start to make move. You see friends around the border. You understand? And you are the one, you are the one who's supposed to teach his son. That's Mommy right. is the one that's supposed to teach the young girl right there. You understand? Watch this. Come on. When he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies. You know what I'm saying? The Bible said they're going to leave an avenger behind you. You understand? That's what the Bible said. You see what I'm saying, brother and sisters? The Bible said you're going to leave an avenger behind you, just like you. You understand? Come on. A child left to himself will be willful. The Bible said if a child left to himself, like, give you some... 
clearance and that like you give the child the cell phone all day to just keep on looking at the cell phone the tv in front of the child you don't know what the child been looking at no nope. you understand what gonna take place Anytime. Child be watching porn. Anytime. Everything. So at night, you know, at night, such time, you understand when you eat seven o'clock, bedtime, all the cell phone, TV lockdown, correct? For the child. If they have their own room. Watch this. Come on. Conquer thy child, and he will make thee afraid. Bible said, if you conquer the child, mean play with the child, you're gonna make you afraid. You understand? Like you carry this child to the supermarket. You understand? He steals something, put it in the pocket. You understand? You talk to him, he started to knock his feet, fall on the ground. He kind of make you feel feel shame, correct? Come on. Laugh not with him. The Bible said do not laugh with the child. Because my grandmama, when she look at me when I was a kid, you know what time it is. If you don't get yourself in harder, the next time you know what you're going to get. She had to hit you there. I, I'm telling you, you don't, she don't have to hit you. You understand? Just to look at you. Come on. Excuse me. Play with him and he will bring thee to heaviness. Bible tell you, if you play with a child, he's going to bring you to heaviness. What? I'm telling you, he's going to bring you to heaviness. Every crime, he's going to have his hand in it. You understand? He's going to be my gang banging, stealing. You understand? For real. All these things going to happen. But watch this. Come on. Laugh not with him. The Bible said do not laugh with him. You understand? That's a child, but you have to be serious. You have to set an example. You understand? Come on. Lest thou have sorrow with him. The Bible said you will have sorrow. You understand? Maybe you find out that. Listen, I hear some gunshot last night. That's him. He got shot. He's the one who died. You understand? Come on. Unless thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Unless you gnash your teeth. You understand? Groaning. You understand? Because what? You was going to... Your son might be to be like you. You understand? But what? According to scriptures, you never have that knowledge. You understand? To grow him according to what the scriptures said. Watch this. Come on. Give him no liberty. The Bible said, give him no liberty. You understand? Because I see many of these little young kids been riding around. Somebody's supposed to sit outside watching these young kids riding. Do you know how many kids missing here in America? Bring that out. Do you know how many kids missing in America, bro? Boy just appear and just turn their back and turn around and all know they can't find the kids. How much kids again? Forty what? Sixty-four thousand, brother. That just what we that's what, what what we know about and that what that's just sisters. Yeah, that's just what they saying. Yeah. That's what they just saying, bro. It's more than that. Watch this. Come on. And wink not at his follies. And do not wink at his folly. You when when that kid look in your face or in the eyes, he's supposed to say the next time. Oh. My father gonna whip my ass. You understand? Come on. Bow down his neck. Your Bible said bow down his neck. Why? Come on. While he is young. While he is young. Because if you have a plant and you plant that, that, that plant, you cannot break that plant to where you want it when you get wind in the sky. You have to break it from here to farm it the way you want it. You understand? Watch this. Come on. And beat him on the side. The Bible tell you where to beat him. Where God said must beat the side. We are God said must beat the kid. Say it again. Read one more time. And beat him on the side. Right here. Normally, a, 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 the parents but hit the kid like in the face and at the head. Those kids are to grow rebellious. Yep. And after that time, they just started this. Respect the parents. He's not going to listen to you no more. No, Read it one more time again what God is supposed to with the kid. And beat him on the side. There is something on the side. That's why God, God created every human being upon the face of the earth. God said, whip him on the side. You understand? Right here, right here. So when you go to school, the teacher cannot look and say, what happened to your face? What happened to your arms? No, God said, whip him on the side. Come on. While he is a child. What? While he is a child. While he is a child. Come on. Lest he wax stubborn. That's what's going to happen. If you do not do that, brother, it's not saying you're going to get up every day and just hit him. You understand? No. Give me Proverbs 22, verse 6. You understand? One more, one minute. One more minute. One more minute. And after that, give me Matthew real quick. Let me say something right quick. Yes, sir. I remember back in them days where, when they used to spank the kids. Yes. I ain't never seen them do this. Already. They always hit them. Right on the there side. on the side, yeah, you like can the remember. You understand? Because yeah, what? Those old people did have a little bit left. Like you understand? They have a little bit of sense to leave. Yeah, you understand? It's but it's just no, bro. It's just no. You understand? Our kids, whenever you eat them and they go to school, what happened when they go to school? When 
the kids started going to school, it's totally different spirit. They started knocking their feet when they come inside late from school. You understand? Because what? White man tell. Because remember, it's a curriculum in the school. If you hit the kids, what happened? CPS come and take the kids sometimes. You understand? For real. So just read it from it real quick. Proverbs 22 and 6. Read it. Proverbs 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Yes, and so it's not all the time you're supposed to take the stick and hit the child. Train him. Just like we have trained to do the football, might be a boxer or something like that. Train him. You understand? That's bad. You understand? These are the things that you have to teach a kid from a younger age. Don't just get up and just it, it, it. The Bible said sometime if they do it over and over, on the side. You understand? Brother, and I pray your brothers and your sisters get something from what we're bringing across. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.